Coyotes, often associated with wilderness and rural areas, have become increasingly prevalent in urban and suburban environments. While they typically avoid human contact, there have been instances where coyotes have displayed aggressive behavior towards children and adults. Coyotes are intelligent and adaptable animals that have learned to coexist with humans. However, as human settlements expand into their natural habitats, interactions between people and coyotes have been more frequent. While most encounters remain peaceful, it is important to acknowledge the instances where these interactions escalate into attacks. In one tragic case in 1981, a three-year-old girl named Kelly Keene was killed by a coyote in Southern California. She was playing near her home when a group of coyotes attacked her. This incident shocked the local community and drew attention to the potential danger that coyotes can pose, especially to young children. In 2009, a young Canadian folk singer, Taylor Mitchell, was attacked by a pack of coyotes while hiking at the Cape Breton Highlands National Park in Canada. The 19-year-old folk singer was just about to start the popular Skyline Trail when climbers in the area saw the animal close in, unprovoked. Mitchell's violent death was only the second fatal coyote attack recorded in North America and the only one that resulted in a human adult fatality. Southern California holds the distinction of having the most concentrated occurrence of coyote attacks incidents in the United States. Over the past few decades, numerous instances of coyote attacks have been documented, including this notable incident caught on camera in Woodland Hills, California in 2022. A terrifying attack unfolding in a matter of seconds. A coyote grabs a toddler in broad daylight in Woodland Hills. Several factors contribute to coyote attacks on humans, including encroachment on natural habitats. Urbanization and habitat loss have led coyotes to adapt to living in close proximity to human settlements, increasing the likelihood of encounters. Food availability. Coyotes are opportunistic predators and scavengers, and easily accessible food sources such as unsecured garbage, pet food, and even small pets can attract them to residential areas. Habituation and loss of fear When coyotes become habituated to humans, either through intentional or unintentional feeding, they may lose their natural fear and become bolder and more aggressive. To minimize the risk of coyote attacks and ensure the safety of children and humans, the following measures can be implemented. Education and awareness. Communities should be educated about coyote behavior and potential risks they pose and how to coexist safely with them. This includes understanding their natural habits and avoiding actions that encourage coyote-human interactions. Responsible waste management. Proper garbage disposal, securing trash cans, and eliminating food sources that attract coyotes can discourage their presence near residential areas. Pet safety. Keeping pets on a leash, especially during dawn and dusk when coyotes are more active, and avoiding leaving them unattended in areas known to have coyote populations. Habitat modification. Installing coyote-proof fencing removing potential dent sites, and utilizing deterrents such as motion-activated lights or noise devices can help discourage coyotes from entering human-populated areas. While coyote attacks on children and adults are extremely rare, the mentioned cases demonstrate that they can indeed occur, resulting in serious harm or even fatalities. Understanding coyote behavior, implementing preventive measures, and promoting coexistence are essential for minimizing the risk of such encounters. By maintaining a healthy balance between humans and wildlife and taking appropriate precautions, we can reduce the potential threat that coyotes pose and ensure the safety of our communities.